Shut up and sit down. Hello everyone, I'm the Cyber Reef Guru. Uh, welcome to my channel. Thanks for watching. I appreciate uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, so this is just a quick video about a spool holder that I made for my Persia i3 Mark II. Um, i never really been terribly happy with the stock uh, spool holder. It was kind of clunky. Uh, it has these little arms that go up with these uh, kind of um, uh, nubbins that stick out and you had to uh, stick the spool between the nubbins and then slide the nubbins together. Um, uh, and I'll slide the arms together. The um, uh, the arms don't uh, move very easily on on the frame at all. Uh, so it was really hard, uh, kind of holding the spool and trying to slide the arm, to, uh, uh, you know, onto the spool. And then you know one would be crooked, and then the back wouldn't kind of line up. And it was just it was really hard. Um, so I went off to Thingiverse. I found uh, a different model that has uh, ball bearings, um, which would relieve some of the pressure that I was seeing with some of the spools that I was uh, using. Um, and design that. Uh, it turns out it has the same connections to the to the frame, um, and so although the ball bearings allow the the, the spool to move freely, um, very nicely, I might add. Um, but uh, the the you still got to sandwich the 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 thing in the spool holder, and so you know the spool comes off easy. And if all your spools are the same width. Um, no, no worries. Um, mine are not. Um, I can't imagine anyone out there who's 3D printing all the spools are the same same width. Um, and so uh, I still had the same issue where I was trying to hold the spool, and now I was trying to slide this arm that has a front and a back that has to be adjusted, and the ball bearings have to be just right uh, so the spool wouldn't fall off the front or the back or the side. Um, and so, uh, funny story, uh, I was just making a print. Uh, for the new arms for the new spool holder and um, sent the print off, uh, went upstairs, you know, had dinner, came back downstairs, the print was done, spool was on the floor. Um, I have no idea when it fell off, uh, the print finished, uh, it, it, everything was fine, um, but, but the filament was all jacked up, it was bent, it was kinked. Um, so I guess I got lucky because uh, it fell off, uh, you know, near the end or whatever, but um, it's just annoying. Uh, so I went off and I, uh, I was like, oh, look, I get, there's got to be something better. i got to find something better on, on Thingiverse. Um, and so uh, I, I couldn't really find what I was looking for. I grabbed CAD Thingiverse, you know, Pinshape, you, you name it, all the websites. I uh, Googled on, you know, 3D60, uh, on uh, Fusion websites, didn't really find anything there. It was on Prusa websites, didn't find anything there. On um, uh, the... Uh, simplify 3D websites and everything in there. So I went off and I was like, all right, I can do this better. Um, and so I went out and I found a nut and bolt combination, which is the universal quick change filament uh, uh, holder. Uh, and I was like, hey, that's really what I want, but um, how do I attach it to my machine, right? there, It was just a nut and a bolt um, with some bearings. Uh, and so it's going to flow, you know, it's going to work very well because it's got the bearings, but how do I attach the machine? So um, this is easy. I, I I looked at the design of the original um, uh, spool holder. I mocked up something similar, um, and I imported. Uh, f fortunately, the guy who made the nut and the bolt combination uh, it had the Fusion 360 file, uh, uh, you know, out on uh, Thingiverse, and so I just had to import the model. And I had the full design history there. It's amazing. I found a spool on uh, uh, GrabCAD. Uh, I made a little quick rod, which is creating a circle and extruding it. Um, and then I designed uh, the filament, uh, the, the, the vertical supports to support it. Um, you know, the whole thing, you know, it, it actually took me a couple hours. Um, if I had to do it over again, it only take me about 10 or 15 minutes. Um, it took me a while to figure out how I wanted to uh, connect it and, and get everything together and create all the joints. So in the CAD model, I knew it was doing what I wanted to do. Um, so I'm just flipped right over to Fusion here. Um, so what you see in front of you here is Fusion 360 uh, with the actual uh, design that I made. Um, and so you can see here we have the uh, at the bottom here the Prusa i3 Mark II frame, uh, the vertical support here on the left, and the vertical support on the right. Um, I actually only designed one support, uh, which is the left one, and then I mirrored it on the right hand side. Uh, so that way if I make any change to this design it's automatically replicated to the right hand side. Um, here in the center um, obviously is the spool and the nut here and then the bearings. Again uh, the bearings I just found on a GrabCAD, uh, the standard uh, 608 bearings. Um, again I created the rod here, just uh, modeled here and it, it looks white but it's actually aluminum, brushed aluminum. 
Um, and so if you flip around here, you can see the uh, what I believe is this is the bolt, and this is the knot if I remember properly. What I will do is I will hide the spool. There you go, you can see how this thing looks. Um, so just so you guys know, this thing is massive. Um, uh, it is uh, four or five inches long. Um, these, these threads are uh, good, you know, four inches wide. It is amazing. Uh, uh, the, the guy who, I'm assuming guy, person, who uh, built this is just uh, did a really fantastic job. And, uh, you know, I'll turn the knot off here. You can see the, the full length of this thing. Again, with the bearings, you see how this is quick change, right? So the bearings go through this bolt here. Um, and if you want a quick change, you just spin the nut off, pull, uh, you know, lift the rod out, uh, lift the whole thing out, uh, spin the nut off, pull off uh, the spool off, put the new spool on, spin the nut on, put the rod back down, and feed the filament in. Um, super fast. Um, super fast. Uh, and you can see here with the, the way that the, uh, the nut works. And so, you know, I took a little time here to design an infusion. Um, oops, didn't want to turn that one on. That's the other one. There is my spool right here. Um, only because, you know, I, I, I put some, to, uh, some, some joints in to see how it rotates and it goes left and right. Um, uh, that's not a big deal. It's just, uh, I just took time to do that. Um, just to make sure it works right. These are the arms that I actually designed, the little hook that wraps around the bottom. The original design had a little fork. Uh, there was no hook in the bottom. It wasn't terribly stable, so I added the hook for what I'm calling version two of the design. It worked great. I printed it. Um, I printed a couple things with it. Uh, and it works really well. These, uh, the bearings, uh, I mean, it, it it is so butter smooth. Um, the, the filament just rolls off of it. In fact, um, it, you know, sometimes it overspins and leaves a little extra hanging there, which is fine uh, for my purpose. Um, so it is amazing. Um, you just, again, pop the rod off, uh, spin the knot off, uh, put the new filament on. So I, I think I'm going to like this. It's really going to increase uh, uh, my enjoyment of <laughs> swapping out filament and hopefully the whole the whole uh, hobby, as it were. So. Um, that's it. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you don't like it, uh, as always, please give it a thumbs up anyway. Um, I encourage you to subscribe. Uh, please uh, leave some comments down below if you have any questions. Um, and look forward uh, to the next video. Um, if you have any suggestions, again, put them in the comments or uh, you know, shoot me a note. Uh, have a great night, everyone. Thanks, everyone.